held a trunk or treat event today, specifically geared towards those who are sensitive to flashing lights and loud noises. The organization's founder, Holly Goodman, said that this event was a good practice run for neurodiverse trick-or-treaters so that they'd be more prepared for Halloween on Thursday. She recommends that anyone handing out candy on the 31st practice patience with those who show up at your door. Goodman says it's important to remember that those on the autism spectrum or with developmental disabilities may have a hard time with verbal cues like remembering to say trick or treats or please and thank you. Decision making can also be tough, so Goodman recommends being specific when offering candy, for example saying take one or take two. Finally, she encourages households to be understanding of trick or treaters that might look older. The Isaac Foundation works with neurodiverse individuals of all ages, and Goodman says inclusivity and understanding is the best policy. 4 News Now will be right back.